In today's video, I'm here to share with you my Guerlain fragrance collection. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my Guerlain fragrance collection. And I decided to do this video because honestly, I have some new fragrances to share with y'all. <laughs> so I ordered some fragrances and I realized I've never really shown you a collection of Guerlain. I do have some from their higher end line. I have some from their like regular designer line. And I have some from the Aqua Allegoria line. So I think I have nine fragrances total. So I felt like that was enough to do a video. Of course, Guerlain has a huge fragrance line, a huge one. And I know so many people have so much more than me, but I'm not gonna let that stop me, okay? Because I felt like this video would be helpful, it would be enjoyable, and I wanted to show you my new goodies. So the way we're gonna do this is I will share with you the new fragrances that I got, and then I will go through the rest of my collection and share them with you of order from my least favorite to my most favorite. However, I will say I love all of these fragrances, so all of them are favorites, but I forced myself to rank them <laughs> For the purpose of this video so real quick before we get into these fragrances i do want to say that guerlain overall as a house is to me a very respectable house i think technically they are a designer house because they do makeup and all but i kind of think of them as more of a niche brand just because of the way their fragrances are made and they've been in the fragrance game for so long I feel like that's their main thing. So I kind of consider them niche, but I guess technically they are a designer brand, but you know, call it whatever you will. I feel like if you like more niche style fragrances, then Guerlain may be a house that you want to check out. I will say though with Guerlain, all of their fragrances I find to be more so on the elegant side, more refined, more, I don't even want to say conservative because that sounds bad and boring. <laughs> but I never find them to be like offensive. Now, I have not smelled every single Guerlain fragrance and y'all will see, I don't even have Shalimar. I've smelled that a long time ago, but I don't really remember what it smells like. So I still have a lot of Guerlain sniffing to do. And I've heard that some of their older fragrances were definitely more outside of the box. However, I feel that their fragrances are always elegant, even if it's with notes that you don't necessarily like. I feel like you can always smell the quality of them and that goes from their lower end fragrances to their higher end fragrances. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So we're gonna start out with the new fragrances that I added to my collection. So this first one is just a decant, so I'll share this one first, but this is Cherry Oud. So I'm testing this out. I wanted to order this, but I knew I shouldn't blind buy it. And what it smells like to me is a oud, first and foremost. And the oud in this smells more woody. Um, it doesn't really go that chocolatey route. It doesn't really go that barnyardy route either, in my opinion. But you can definitely smell that it's oud. It is very smooth, though. And it's not sweet either. And then you have this cherry that, to me, does not smell syrupy sweet. It just kind of gives it a boost of, like, juiciness, a boost of a little bit of sweetness but not overly sweet. So to me, I would definitely say the Oud is definitely more prominent in this fragrance than the cherry, but I do really like this. Is it going to be a full bottle for me? I don't know. Um, I do really enjoy it and I wanted to order a full bottle, but I'm trying to hold back because I have so many bottles in my collection that I am going to wear this decant see how it does and then go from there. Um, but as of right now, it's just going to be a decant for me. So again, that is Guerlain Cherry Oud. The next fragrance I have is Oud Nude. And I actually just unwrapped this, so let's open it up. But I had a decant of this. So at the same time that I ordered the Cherry Oud, I ordered Oud Nude. And I decided that right off the bat, I knew I wanted a full bottle of Oud Nude. So that's what we have here. So this is gorgeous. And this was actually a pleasant surprise for me because when I ordered the decant, I really wanted to try Cherry Oud, but I was like, you know what? I wanna try Oud Nude too, so I might as well just go ahead and get both of them, right? And I thought Cherry Oud was gonna be the one for me, but Oud Nude, oh my gosh, y'all. This smells so good. So to me, what this smells like is a very refined Oud again as well, but not prominent. It's not a very prominent Oud. It's there, but it's not like overpowering or anything like that. 
and then this beautiful like clean musky smell but the muskiness does have a little bit of that skin type texture to it so it's not going the laundry detergent route it's more so going the clean skin route and then to me it smells like there's a little bit of sweetness maybe like some vanilla or something in here not a ton but it's all just very well done y'all it's very well blended it's so good it's so calming and it's so addictive to me this is a softer wearing scent i've only worn it like two or three times not even from this bottle yet so this is a softer wearing scent so i'm not sure how it's gonna do like in the cold but y'all i love this i knew this was an immediate love for me i knew i had to order a bottle of it so again that is oud noon and then the last new fragrance i have is one that i actually blind bought at the same time as oud nude <laughs> And y'all don't do like me don't blind buy but i did it so and i'm i'm excited about it i already smelled it but this is queer beluga so this one has been around for a while it's one of the older fragrances in their arts and materials line and this is one that i've always wanted to smell i probably shouldn't have blind bought it but you know we do what we do over here so so there's the bottle I almost forgot to show you all that close up but it's gorgeous same style bottle as all the rest of these and i will say um with these bottles you can personalize them however i ordered these from selfridges because the price is better than ordering from guerlain and because i already have some of the personalized bottles i was okay with getting like their standard bottles however i would say that if you really love a fragrance from this line and you want that special touch definitely order it from guerlain directly so you can personalize your bottles and you'll see later the rest of my bottles from this line are personalized and I love them. Anyway, <laughs> I'll link these for you. They are better priced from Selfridges. They're still expensive, but they're better than Guerlain directly. So anyway, Queer Beluga smells amazing. <laughs> so to me, this I haven't worn this one yet, but smelling it on paper and smelling it on my, I tried it on my hand when I first got it. Um, smell it smells like to me a leathery vanilla scent and not a super sweet vanilla or anything like that just a very like calm sweetness uh, like a dry vanilla mixed with this very high quality leather or suede but it's not it's not animalic in my opinion it really just gives like smoothness texture depth it's good y'all this is so good I am so excited to wear this I think this is going to be good for year-round use but more specifically in the cooler months like fall winter just because to me it smells quite cozy but also like a little bit sexy I could definitely see myself wearing this on a date night but I could also see myself wearing this around the house with a cup of hot chocolate watching Christmas movies which never really happens for me but <laughs> if I was that type of person this would go with that occasion as well this smells so good y'all smells so good i am so excited to have these in my collection i will be using all three of these and of course i'm not including them in the ranking because it's not fair i literally just got them haven't really worn them so i just wanted to share them with you all all right so i have seven more fragrances to share with you all all of these i have worn i've had in my collection for at least month or two um there's one that i haven't had super long because i got it for my birthday but i still feel like i've worn it enough to rank it so in seventh place we have mon guerlain so this is a beautiful lavender and vanilla scent the lavender in here is definitely prominent but it's not masculine in my opinion it is that more clean side of lavender fresh lavender but this doesn't go to masculine route in my opinion. The vanilla in here is quite smooth, it's sweet, but it's not gourmand. It's like more of a fluffy, pillowy, almost like, it kind of reminds me of a marshmallow. It doesn't smell like marshmallow, but it gives me marshmallowy vibes the way that it is blended because it just all feels so soft and so cozy and fluffy and slightly airy. I love this fragrance for year round use it's kind of one of those hug in a bottle scents for me so more recently i've been wearing this to bed more but i could wear this anywhere i've worn it out on dates i've worn it to work i've worn it to run errands and of course like i said i've worn it to bed i love this stuff i just think this is a very versatile fragrance and it just really makes me smile every time i wear it so again that is mon guerlain so I know um, some of y'all are going to hate these rankings and honestly this was super hard for me to rank because I love all these fragrances. 
Um, so I know a lot of you are gonna disagree because this next one is about to be very controversial, but in sixth place, I have Spirituise Duble Vanille. <laughs> so this is probably the most popular fragrance from Galan. This is the vanilla of the vanillas. This is a vanilla that when I first started kind of exploring more fragrances, this is the one that had been on my wish list forever. I finally picked it up, I think last year for my birthday, and I do love it but it's in sixth place just because i love these, some of these other ones more but i do really love this so this is a nice deep uh, kind of smoky sweet vanilla um it definitely has some woodiness to it it has like a tiny bit of booziness to it but overall i think of this as kind of one of those more quintessential vanilla fragrances but it's not boring and it's not juvenile and it's really freaking good it is addictive like every time I smell this, I want to smell it some more. It does wear a little bit closer to the skin for me, but I find it to be relatively long lasting the longer I've had this fragrance, but it's not like a beast in my opinion. It does sit closer to the skin, but it is delicious smelling. Like it is so, so good. If this weren't so expensive, I could see myself wearing this to bed like every night, <laughs> but I can't do this. This gets the light of day because it's too it's too expensive and too good for me just to wear it to bed but yeah it's beautiful gorgeous scent if you like something like kayali vanilla 28 then i'm sure you would love this they are not the same to me kayali is a lot sweeter a lot more brown sugar heavy but i do feel like they're kind of like in the same family i do love this one more though and this is just extra refined y'all so again that is spiritrice duble vanille in fifth place, I have a fragrance from the Aqua Allegoria line, and this is Ginger Picante. So I believe this fragrance has been discontinued, and I will say one thing I don't like about Guerlain is I like to discontinue stuff too much, and especially in this line. So I will say if you ever fall in love with a scent from the Aqua Allegoria line, get it. Don't put it on your wish list for years because it's probably going to go away. Anyway, Ginger Picante, it is so good. To me, this smells like candied ginger but it has enough of that like sharpness to it where it doesn't smell extremely sugary sweet so if you've ever smelled like just candied ginger regular from the store not mixed into anything that adds extra sweetness but just regular candied ginger that's what this smells like to me it is so refreshing it's energizing but at the same time it kind of calms me as well it's kind of weird i love ginger if you don't like ginger you're not going to like this because this does smell kind of more photorealistic but it's gorgeous, y'all. I typically layer this with the Ginger Souffle body uh, cream from Origins, and they work so well together. So this is from the Aqua Allegoria line. So I believe all of these are Eau de Toilettes, or they may be Eau de Parfums, but they're on the lighter side. That's what they're meant to be. And this is on the lighter side, but I find it to be quite present when I wear it. I get probably about five hours of wear out of this. And for this type of scent, that is perfect for me because this is the type of scent that I'll spray on like during the summer if I'm going to be outside or I spray it on like to go work out and it's doing enough but it's not overpowering at all. And the spiciness that is in this to me it kind of leans more feminine. I mean I think it's perfectly unisex but some ginger fragrances that are very ginger prominent people tend to think of them as more masculine because the spice can be very intense. This one is not extremely intense so I think that if you're trying to get your foot into the ginger door this may be one you could try however you're gonna have a hard time finding it so let me not even say that <laughs> anyway i love this one so again that is ginger picante and the number four spot i have coconut fizz and again this one is from the aqua allegoria line and again this one is discontinued but i love this this smells like pure like coconut water it smells so good. It is refreshing. This is like the smell of summer to me. If you are not a fan of coconut because you think it smells sunscreeny, you need to get your nose on something like this because it just smells so pure and natural. And I just think of tropical days when I, whenever I smell this. This does have a tiny bit of sweetness, but it's not necessarily a sweet fragrance. It just really smells like coconut water, y'all. It definitely does, but I love it. So again, that is coconut fizz. In the number three spot, I have Angelique Noir. 
So again, I think this one is very popular from Guerlain. I believe it's probably the second most popular from this arts and materials line next to Spirit Juice Duble Vanille. But again, this is another vanilla scent. However, this one has Angelica in it, a very green tone to it. I will say when I first got this fragrance, I thought it smelled extremely green. And on paper, this definitely smells more green than vanilla, but on skin, it's the other way around. So on skin, you get this beautiful like Guerlain vanilla. I feel like Guerlain does vanilla like no other house. <laughs> And so um, they just they just have a special touch to the vanilla. So you get this beautiful, refined Guerlain vanilla, and then the Angelica adds this greenness to it, this freshness to it, but it's not too much. It's very, very well balanced. And I find that the longer that this fragrance stays on my skin, the more the vanilla comes out, but you still kind of always get that greenness there as well too. It also smells just like a slight bit boozy, a little bit sweet. But again, all very tame, all very elegant, all very grown up. I feel like if you're looking at Guerlain as a house, you don't need to worry about childish vanillas. If you have problems with certain vanillas, you don't need to worry about any other Guerlain vanillas being childish. They're all very refined and luxurious and this is no exception. So I love this one. This is one that I kind of wear sometimes on special occasions, but not like formal occasions, but like I've worn this on Christmas and I've worn this to like my kids' performances and stuff like that. So it kind of is holding some memories for me. But again, I feel like this is very versatile. This is the type of vanilla you definitely could wear when it's warm. I feel like it's a year round vanilla because of that freshness from the Angelica in here. So again, that is Angelique Noir. In second place, we have Gourmand Coquine. Now this fragrance has been discontinued. However, Guerlain just released another fragrance called Feb Gourmand, I believe. I will link it for you all. And according to Guerlain, that is the new name for Gourmand Co Coquine. So now it is in bottles that look similar to this. It is available exclusively right now on the Guerlain website, but I haven't smelled it. It's supposed to be the same. I don't know for sure, but I would say that if this is something you've been wanting to smell, try to get your nose on the new one because this particular one has been discontinued for a couple years. And if you try to find it in this bottle, you will be paying way too much money. Like, don't do it. Don't do it, y'all. Do not do it. Anyway, this smells amazing. So I'm gonna take the top off because now mine wiggles. Um, my bottle actually got dropped and now my top feels like slightly off and it's really annoying to hear. It doesn't bother me like when it's sitting on the shelf because obviously I'm not moving it around. But as I'm, do y'all hear that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as I'm wiggling it around, it's annoying me. So we're taking the top off, but oh, this is so good. So to me, this smells like a fruity chocolate. What I get when I smell this smells like a raspberry, like a raspberry cordial. So like think a dripping raspberry boozy scent mix, mixed with this beautiful chocolate that is very high quality chocolate. And it smells slightly powdery as well. To me, this is a gorgeous scent. It's very edible smelling. It's probably the most edible smelling out of my entire Guerlain collection but I love this and every single time I wear this, my husband compliments me on it. I don't wear it much because it was discontinued and I knew I would never get another bottle, but now that they have re-released it, I am ready to pull this bad boy back out. I think it's perfect for fall, winter. And so I think I'm going to actually move it in my collection because right now where it sits, it's very high up and so I don't reach for it often. But now that I know I can get it again if I need to, it's gonna come down a little bit closer where I can have easy access to it. But this is a gorgeous scent very edible smelling very gourmand without being childish and it's just it's delicious so again that is gourmand coquine and then in first place we have tobacco honey and this is my baby this is my baby you see she came in and knocked the other ones out of first place and she is in first place this hasn't been out that long I got this for my 40th birthday from myself to myself. And you can see I have an inscription on there. It just says, welcome to chapter 40. You can get whatever you want on there, but I love this. So like the name says, it's tobacco and honey. However, the honey is very present in here. You have to be a fan of honey to like this scent. You have to be a fan of tobacco to like this scent. However, the tobacco in this is very refined. So if you're just a little bit of a fan of tobacco, but you're not a huge lover, you still may really like this, especially if you love honey. The honey in here smells quite realistic. It smells thick and dripping. 
it doesn't necessarily smell like honey out of your cabinet it smells like what you would expect honey to smell like straight from the honeycomb it smells delicious and then you have this beautiful like spicy sweet tobacco this scent is kind of on the sweeter side of honey and tobacco scents i actually have a honey tobacco video that you guys should check out if you're interested in hearing a comparison to some other honey and tobacco fragrances that i have i'll link that for you guys but this smells amazing i absolutely love it it has a little bit of powderiness to it as well. And this has excellent, excellent performance. It lasts forever. It projects really well. Perfect for date night. Perfect for cold weather. Perfect for hanging around the house because it has kind of cozy vibe too. And I just love this. Like I cannot get enough of this smell. So again, that is tobacco honey. So that was my entire Guerlain fragrance collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these, which one from the line is your favorite? Is there any more that I need to get my nose on? What would you recommend? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We are currently at 18,000 and I'm so excited about that. I've been on YouTube a long time. I'm not a super fast growing channel, but I love YouTube. And the fact that my channel is growing, I'm really enjoying that. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you for 18K. Let's see, can we get it to 20K by the end of the year? Maybe, I mean, that's a stretch for me, but hey, I would love that. That would be an awesome Christmas gift. <laughs> So if you're not subscribed, subscribe y'all. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, check out my website. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Over there I talk fragrance and other things that I'm enjoying. Also, if you wanna connect me more, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok now. Um, I just like to have fun over there and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs and my stories on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.